The year 2006 was the first time in 70 years that a breeding pair of bald eagles were seen here. In the six years since, the Cuyahoga Valley has had three nests fail, but they've had three successful nests producing four eaglets. Ranger Brady Barkwin attributes the successes to the increasing quality of the environment in the park. And if the river can sustain life that can sustain the bald eagle, then in some way, shape or form, the work that we're doing uh, to help preserve this area is working. Casting their lines upstream from the nest in the Pinery Narrows, fishermen are catching steelhead trout, more proof of a cleaner Cuyahoga River. Human disturbances can disrupt the constant care needed for incubating eggs. If it's just walking the trail, I don't really see a big deal. You can always take another path. We are located right here, and the bald eagle's nesting site is just a touch north of the Route 82 bridge. Foot traffic has been closed along the railroad tracks and bridle trail, and fishing and boating traffic has stopped on a section of the river. Unlike last year, the towpath is still open. From there, visitors can see the nest about 200 yards away. It's always exciting if you see them on the nest or near the nest. These eaglets were hatched in 2010. The nest in 2011 failed, so they may be trying again. It makes a lot of sense that this would be the same pair uh, returning from last year that had their nest blown down during the winter time. Last year the eagles built their nest in a dead tree. Strong winter winds blew it over. The eagles may shine as our national symbol, but they're not very bright. This year it seems they again built their nest in a dead tree. It can be seen rocking in the wind. They've got to learn to do better. <laughs> Nest building and mating are ongoing. The eggs will incubate for about 35 days, hatching sometime late spring, with fledgling coming midsummer. Eagles are the talk of the park. Of the top 10 things people want to talk about in this park, the bald eagles are them. And everybody wants to know what are we doing, how are they doing, are there more, is it growing? So it's a, a very a big item for people to talk about. The areas will stay closed until the end of July. So fingers crossed that this year it'll work and they've got plenty of time and they've gotten a good jump on things. Rich Geyser, News Channel 5.